Today I'll be reading some more from I Love Baby Animals. So today we're going to start with the fennec fox. This cub may be one of the smallest fox cubs in the world, but it has huge ears which help it stay cool. Fennec foxes live in deserts. The nights are cold, but the days are sizzling hot. Tell someone at home why a fennec fox has his big ears. What does it help do? Flamingo. Flamingos are tall, elegant birds with long, slender legs. A flamingo egg is about the size of a grapefruit. When they hatch, the chicks are covered with thick gray down. They turn pink as they get older. The food they eat is what makes them turn pink. So tell someone at home why a flamingo is pink. Giant anteater. When an anteater baby is born, it has a full coat of thick fur. It immediately climbs onto its mother's back and hangs on with strong little paws. Anteaters use their long, sticky tongues to lap ants and termites. Giant panda. Giant pandas are rare bears that live in the bamboo forests of China. Newborn cubs are tiny, blind, and helpless. They open their eyes at three weeks of age and cannot move around on their own until they are about four months old. Giraffe. Giraffe babies are called calves. Newborn calves stand up and walk just a few hours after being born, but they spend most of their time sitting in the grass, hiding from hungry lions. Golden hamster. Hamsters are popular pets all over the world. The golden hamster lives in the grasslands of Syria and Turkey. Hamsters feed on seeds, nuts, and bugs. They live in burrows where the babies are born. And one more that I'll read today is the golden snub-nosed monkey. A baby golden snub-nosed monkey has fluffy fur. It lives in the cold mountains of China. Its mother takes good care of it, but its aunts and, um, aunts and cousins help too. So again today, you can choose one of the animals that Mrs. Ross read about, and then you can draw a picture of it and write one fact that you learned about it. Have fun.